Hi, I'm Tadao of m a d a s k a i r u d e m a d a s k a i r u d e is Japanese meaning you can still use it. So let's repair yourself and save money, energy, and resources. Today I'm gonna show you how I replace the、uh, tire、uh, pressure monitoring sensor and the, also to how I、uh, relearn the, these sensors. And uh, for uh, 2007 Nissan Versa,、uh, tire monitoring Uh, the tire pressure monitoring sensor is it's really a pain once it, it's activated. It, it, you know, you don't really know what to do. And, and, but the, I did some research and I、uh, successfully、uh, overcome the problem. So、uh, I hope my video is going to help you to solve your problem. This is how it went. So, this is 2007 Nissan Versa、uh, for the hatchback. And this guy、uh, shows a tire、uh, alarm. And, but the tire alarm, I checked the tire pressure, it, it was fine. But the, the, when you have tire alarm, just、uh, turn on the key and see what,、uh, whether that blinks or not. So I'm gonna show you this. Turn on, it's now tire alarm is blinking. And it blinks for one minute ish. And, and if this happens,、uh, the manual says the、uh, tire pressure monitoring sen、uh, sensor、uh, system or monitoring system is malfunctioning. So, the, the, my gut feeling is that the、mm, sensor inside the tire is old and run out of the battery, so it's not functioning. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is replace the,、uh, the sensors. <coughs> and it's a little bit Or pain, but、yeah, I think doable. So I will try that. By the way,、uh, it's, so this is 2007, so the, the car has been running for you know, for over 10 years, and so it, it、uh, makes sense that the battery inside the tire、uh, r u n out. So I will try that. So this is the TPMS sensor, tire pressure monitoring system sensor I got for、uh, Nissan Versa. And、uh, this is not really the OEM, this is cheap one, but hopefully, it's gonna work. So, this sensor sensors are in the, each tire, so the, I have to take the tire out and the,、uh, the release the、uh, air inside, and then、uh, they push the tire、uh, and, and then access to this sensor. Okay, since my、um, This car is, is due for the、uh, tire rotation. So, what I'm gonna do is actually、uh, use this、uh, emergency tire and remove.、Uh, I'm gonna start with the rear left.、Uh, it doesn't matter where it is, but rear left. I'm gonna take the tire out and put the emergency tire there and work on the left rear tire. And if it's done, I'm gonna put this to the front、uh, right. So, this is how I'm gonna work, and then they work on the front right. Then I'm gonna、uh, swap that、uh, to the front left, and, <clears throat> and so forth. So this is what I'm、uh, planning to do. So, let's work on that. I'm not gonna run this so that I, I know the appropriate power. Just amazing. I've never put the emergency tire like this. It's so small.、Hmm. But anyway, anyways, I'm gonna work on this. Oh, tire. So I'm gonna release the air. So now I released, I think I released the air. 
and, and when I push here, it's, it's kind of soft. Okay, I think I'm gonna try the way the other YouTubers uh, showed uh, put the uh, jack. Put the jack like this uh, with some wood, climb uh, the two by four or something, and, and push against the other core so that it's It's actually harder than I expected. Many YouTubers does this, but uh, unfortunately, if you only have Versa, you cannot really do that, I guess. If you have a heavier truck or some else, someone actually use some, some gutter, uh, you know, and, and put the tire in between, uh, you know, inside the gutter or something. But anyways, I think I gotta work on that. Okay, now I see the sensor. Okay, so now all I have to do is replace this guy. Okay. So this is the new one.
Oh, I think this is tight enough. I have to work on here for a little bit more though. So I'm gonna use WD-40. Chemical compatibility of WD-40 and then the tire, someone's warned that, but the, looks like many people uh, said it's okay, uh, it doesn't really uh, react with tire or damage tire, so I decided to use that. But now it's popped, so all I have to do is inflate a little bit more. Thirty-four. Okay, 35. Okay, I'm gonna put this uh, tire to the front uh, right and they remove the front right and they do the same thing for all uh, tires. So this is the front right tire, it's done, it's second one. So I de decided to put this to the rear left. So I just go cross. So the, this is second one and I'm gonna put this and replace it with the uh, emergency tire. So this is my third tire and I think I got much better than the first one. So the, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Put the oil and... So to push down, you really need to have the pin point rather than putting the wood like this you want to actually pressure one spot and this is how we do Okay. 
Sid Rogue. And once it's broke, you don't need to remove the entire thing. All you have to do is lower. this part so that I can access the sensor. Wow. Put this closer to the sensor. So now the both sides of the sensor is broke. So I have to push this down to access the sensor. Now I see the sensor here. See, so the I should have started this side, break this side, and break this side, and just keep it like this, and uh, it might be quicker. So the if you learn how to do this, I think it's okay as long as you have heavy enough truck or heavy enough car to work on it. Uh, Nissan Versa is not really, uh, you might be able to do it if you lift it up, but uh, with the, the car on the ground, it's, you don't have clearance, you can't do it. So this is another trick I learned. So if there's a big gap here, even if you uh, they add air, you, you, it, it never stays. So you actually spin, spin the tire, to count like this and now it's close it's closing it never actually close fully but at least you wanna close it until you don't really see the obvious gap so I saw the sensor here, but the now, after doing this, I don't see it. And once, once you have minimum opening, then you're gonna start inflating, I mean, adding air in it. So I installed the sensors, so it, it's physically in, but uh, it, uh, electronically it's not activated. And when I purchased the sensor, I, I knew that I have to uh, activate it, or they, they call it the relearning process. So I purchased this uh, tool, and this, is, this doesn't really connect to the, uh, you know, the computer, it's just a... It looks like it emits some uh, signals and according to this instruction uh, it says uh, I have to set the car into the relearn mode <clears throat> and I did a research on the relearn mode and some cars uh, can be set to the relearn mode by turning the key this key into uh, the ignition and on keep it on and press both uh, lock and unlock at the same time and they're gonna turn this uh, uh, car into the relearn mode uh, TPMS um, relearn mode uh, but the, this Nissan doesn't really do that 
and and I tried that and, and pressing both uh, lock and unlock at the same time will uh, change the mode for the uh, the notice for locking. So when you lock the car, it actually flash the light and also you hear some short horn. And if you want to do it silent, uh, you press both lock and unlock for a while and then it goes to silent mode. You don't hear the horn, although you see the light. And if you turn back the horn on, then you press uh, lock and unlock at the same time. And then you uh, come back to the, uh, you know, noticing uh, the horn. Uh, but that's so that it, so this uh, Nissan doesn't really do anything uh, on uh, this pressing this lock and unlock will, uh, will not do anything on the TPMS. So the, I did another research and then I found uh, information, uh, I found information on the, uh, in the uh, forum that the, uh, you can actually uh, the, relearn the sensors. Uh, that, what they say is first you have to set the tire pressure individually different so the left front at 36 psi and right front 33 psi and rear uh, rear right uh, 30 psi and the left right uh, left rear uh, 27 psi and then uh, set the uh, car into the rear mode and and then drive for a while and, and so that means uh, you can actually do the uh, relearn mode uh, without uh, connecting a device onto the core, and 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 but I I that that actually doesn't need this. But uh, you have to you know release the air a little bit and just the air. So the uh, I already have this. So the, I'll try the another way. I'll try to um, do the uh, relearn mode uh, as instructed in the forum and then try to use this guy so that is a plan b and if this guy doesn't work then i'm gonna set the tire pressure as i said and they do that the uh the procedure uh, written in the uh, forum so the uh i will try that so what you are supposed to do is uh put the key in and just go to ignition and you see that that, that the tire mark is blinking and then with this position you're gonna uh, locate this I think that is this I cannot really see it this guy see this this guy has uh, it's hard to okay you see this this only has one wire and 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 that is the tpms resetting connector and i'm gonna plug the uh paper clip in it and the and the short circuit that uh to the ground of six times and and according to the that, that the instruction is that you can reset uh the uh i mean the set the uh tps ms learning mode so i'll try that and while what i was uh talking now the tpms warning was blinking and now it's still on and if i said that the learning mode that is supposed to blink again so i'm gonna turn off the uh, key so that i'm not gonna get the uh, shock electric shock when i was working on that so i actually cut the uh, electric tape and now you can extend the cable to here and i put the paper clip and i'm planning to short circuit there uh, six times it uh, looks like the magic number so i'll try that so turn on the key and i'm gonna wait about i think it said one minute it that's gonna blink and i'm gonna wait for uh that gonna go into the steady arm 
Okay, now the light is steady on, so I'm gonna try to uh, short circuit six times in 10 seconds. Huh, it doesn't change. Okay, I think I'll try other place. Good. So I'm gonna try steering column. Okay, now it's blinking. Cool. So now I'm gonna try this. So Starting from left front, it's here and TX. Hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't give any horn or any signal so this may not work No, it doesn't do anything, I guess. Uh, let's see the... Oh, it may be working. Now it's off. Cool. Okay, so I'm supposed to drive uh, for a while and see what happens. Okay, now I turn the cell on and start the motor. This is what I'm supposed to do. I do, do not turn off the key just straight to uh, start the motor and drive for a while, I will do that. So I drove for, for about five or two, 10 minutes on the freeway and the light is still off, that's good. And uh, so I'm gonna turn off the key and see what happens when I key back on. Okay, it's turned off, so that it's the reset. So I solved the problem and uh, I, I did, so the, it was solved with plan A so I use this device and actually I purchased this device together with the sensors and on Amazon and it was about $120 so it, 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 it was a good deal and this worked but even if you don't have that device uh, you can uh, according to the forum you can do the same procedure uh, or before doing that the uh, you know the setting to the relearn mode you want to set the tire pressure uh, to different values as i said uh, left front to be uh, 36 and the uh, right front 33 and the uh, rear uh, right uh, 30 and the uh, left rear uh, 27 and then uh, do that same procedure and 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 and, and make it blink and then turn on the uh, the uh, the motor and the drive for a while and and then uh, that light is supposed to turn off but it back on because the tire pressure is low uh, and then uh, you inflate after stopping the car you inflate the tire to the uh, appropriate uh, the pressure uh, and then it, it, it will be reset so that is what they said so I think that can also work. But anyways, this is, uh, I hope this is a very uh, helpful information and uh, help you to save money. And that is the purpose of my uh, channel. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.